welcome back to my channel um, today we will do a little bit of lunging in order to work the canner in hand um, so as you guys uh, have been following along uh, for those of you that have been with us for a little bit um, we are currently working on the canner um, my previous video was actually about me working the canner under saddle and we got great progress um, but upon my uh, coach's suggestion um, she also advised to try to also do it on the lunge line um, that might um, help her a little bit in order to balance herself a little bit more properly um, and honestly I was really surprised by the end of this uh, session there so let's dive in so as you can see here um, she's cantering pretty great so after a little bit of a warm-up, we pushed her into the canner. I actually had a little bit of an issue with my camera and then um, that's why you only see the cantering part. But she did have a fair warm-up beforehand. Um, and now we're just working a little bit more of the canner pieces. Um, so what I'm actually focused on doing is um, my vocal command is to let her um, have a little bit of a trot but also try to keep on pushing her into the canner. Um, just because that's exactly the same thing that we're working under saddle is not to give ourselves too much preparation and just go for the canner whenever um, she's asked to do so. So as you can see she's doing pretty beautifully at following my commands um, when I'm asking her to go up to the canner, to the trot, to the walk. Um, she's doing really really great. Um, she has her attention has definitely greatly improved and as well as her trot um, so she's doing pretty great one of the things you'll notice in this video is that um, I picked the wrong saddle pads for the job here um, so I was just in a rush to put the sur single on and I just grabbed the wrong pad um, because these um, Anki saddle pads don't have little loops at the bottom and therefore um, they're just a little bit more prone to kind of move under the sur single so you'll see me adjust it quite a few a uh, bit so please ignore that that's just uh, my own poor choice making here uh, in selecting the, the saddle pad for the job so here we're going for a nice nice canner she's always doing really great in that direction um, as you will uh, see in a little bit we are having a little bit of trouble going to the right and that is just because um, race horses um, or the one that actually go to the races, Thorbred, um, just like mine, are always trained to go on the one side and also to go really fast on the one side. And what happened is all that imbalance in the workload uh, kind of just wire their brain a little bit differently. So they just think it's almost impossible for them to go as fast on the other side um, just because they're their thoughts are not organized that way so you'll see um, I'm having quite a bit of issue on the other side but I'm going there um, slowly and gently so this is me adjusting her uh, little pad there just so it doesn't fly off her back um, as, it, as I was telling you a little bit earlier yes um, I did make a poor choice here in the saddle pad that I used it should have had the little straps at the bottom um, and that would have just kept it in place for us a little bit better so now it is fully uh, back on the saddle pad is okay but as you can see here that's the struggle I'm having when I'm asking her to go to the left so I'm just asking her to go forward a little bit and she keeps on going backward um, she, you'll see she does quite a few things so um, just for your information she has a cavus on um, and therefore there's no bit in her mouth and that's why I'm, I'm allowing myself to just pull her a little bit forward um, because I'm asking her to go forward, but she is not. So um, what I do in order to correct that little issue because she's not going as well on that side is just to keep the lead line um, a little bit um, shorter on that side just to have a little bit more control. Um, and you'll see it's a little bit harder. So she can walk on that side, she can trot on that side, but the canner is almost impossible or to get it straight or directly from uh, just the cue or verbal cue here. As you will see, I am traveling quite a bit just to put more pressure on her and force her to go forward and go a little faster. Um, if not, I'm not able to get any anything done. Um, and as you can see with her head, she's not happy with it. So she's tossing a little bit of a tantrum. And the thing that they tend to do as well is just turn around 
um, the other way, the way that they're more comfortable and that's something that's not allowed. So that's one of the reasons why my coach asked me to um, work on the lunge line a little bit more. Um, it's just to kind of just break in that habit of, you know, picking up the canner no matter where or how we're asking you to do it. Um, would it be on the left lead or on the right lead? So once again, we're going with a refusal here because she's backing up again. And um, so it's just, it's a game of patience, honestly, just to get her to go on the proper side. So once again, I'm pulling her forward just because I cannot reach her bum from uh, that far. And so that's why I'm asking her to go a little bit forward, give her a little bit of a tap with the whip. And um, you'll see she is definitely not being happy about going on that side. She, she understands what I want, but it's just, I have to really push her into it. So same thing here, um, I'm going to put it a little bit closer just because it's the same thing again. So she did a few tra little steps and then she's refusing to go forward again. So I'm pushing her again, keeping the lunge line short, like a safe distance. And then here she is uh, just literally backing me off, not happy at all with me asking her to go into that direction. And honestly, this meltdown or this little tantrum is nothing too crazy or big or anything. It's just something that we have to work on. Um, obviously, a horse is an animal and it has feelings and um, you just have to address those feelings in order to have a better communication. So same here, rearing, she does not want to go um, forward, but you just stay calm, keep your patience and keep on moving them forward. Because as you can see here, she's doing totally fine um, walking forward and she'll see there's less pressure as soon as she goes forward. And that's how I reward her as well. So the best thing for a horse or what they are really seeking for is less pressure. So by being close, by always um, like inching away from her bum, she understands that I want her to go forward and that's putting pressure. The way I reward her is by removing that pressure, either by moving my body slightly more towards her shoulder or also giving her more lunge line as well. So like that she doesn't have as much pressure. But as you can see, after walking all the way down there, we were able to get some steps of canner. And that's just the only thing that I was actually aiming to do in the first place. So now that we are all so far back, my goal is just to really try to bring her back closer to the camera, so to the other end of the arena, slowly, slowly. If I can get her to work nicely in between, that would be great. Um, so once again, keep on pushing her. She's starting to really understand what I'm asking of her. And as you can see here, the pressure, um, pressure release technique really worked well for her. So you guys will be able to observe uh, that patience uh, and perseverance pays off. As you can see here, I'm able to actually control her a little bit more on canner trot transition or at least canner and downwards transition. And she's starting to get the hang of it. So it's really to just keep on pushing them, keep on pushing them until they uh, eventually get over their little um, fit there. So um, usually they, they, she won't get stubborn for too long. She will keep on going. Um, she's definitely more of a people pleaser than she is uh, like um, a kicker or anything like that. So she will keep on working and working. And as you can see here, I'm able to gain control and I'm able to control the speed a little bit better. So it's actually, she's offering me a good canner too. Her head and her neck position is much better on that side actually. So since we are a little bit too far away from the camera, I'm just bringing her back uh, where we started and then I'll keep on working her a little bit. So one of the great advantages of um, doing the lunge versus doing um, in the saddle is that you can work them in a similar way without them having your weight. And so that's why it's a little bit easier for her to balance herself. You can see here, she's definitely using way more rear impulsion um, than she, she used to um, in the past. If you watch our previous lunging videos, so she's, she's starting to get an understanding as to what we're asking her under saddle but we're just kind of putting all the, the pieces of the puzzle together. So 
So mentally, she is totally with me, which is actually amazing. Um, the amount of work that I'm able to do with her now on the ground. I know I'm working or I'm walking quite a fair bit. I just don't want to lose control of her, um, like of her brain basically. So she's listening pretty well and um, cooperating actually quite good. Um, I'm really, really pleased with that session because it really helped us um, get her to understand the proper rhythm in the canner and also a little bit of um, scooping her legs, uh, her back legs and her bum underneath herself a little bit. So that session kind of really helped put all of that together. So this time around, I just want you guys to focus on how smooth the transition is being between the trot and the canner. You'll see she really pushes out with her back leg and propels herself forward. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I also get her to just go slow, fast, slow, fast, or trot, canner, trot, canner, trot, canner, and just to get her to really work on that impulsion here. So that is the end of our session here. She did really, really well. Even though she did have a little bit of a meltdown on the um, on the left lead, um, which is something that I understand and I know that we have to work a little bit more on it. Um, we used to do way more lunging before and she uh, became really good at it, but I guess we're both a little bit rusty when it comes to lunging. So we'll get back into um, using the lunge line as a tool um, in order to help her work um, the canner. Um, I find it, it's actually really um, a good tool to work that, that specific speed just because it also allows them to not get too tired too fast. So really be really like that and then now I'm just doing a little bit of a lateral work with her. That's just part of our cool, uh, cool down session um, which is something that I like to do from time to time just because as you guys know if you've been following us for a little bit. Um, Hazel's side passes are not her favorite thing in the world but she does them without any fuss on the ground so that's why I'm just working her on both sides and see if she um, you know if she can integrate those um, concepts as well as um, when I'm actually under saddle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick um, video on how I'm actually working uh, with my horse in order to get the proper canner. Um, we uh, we have worked really, really hard to get her to um, trot properly and now we're doing almost the same amount of effort to get her to canter um, as well, like very easily and lightly. And uh, obviously, um, it is time consuming but it's definitely very rewarding. I'm really really proud of us, both of us and how far we came along already in this short journey here. So it is already the end of this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed this little cute um, video of Hazel having a little meltdown as well as um, doing something a little bit different than just writing. We've been writing quite a bit um, since we started our lesson program and so it's always nice to just do something else especially um, when you're actually writing for a long like a couple of days in a row so I think that lunging is also a great tool for removing all that pressure of the kid like having a writer and all that stuff so really really happy with how it turned out and how much this tool helped us so please look forward to other videos of us working on our canner we're still not done the journey is still ahead, um, it's still in full speed, um, but I'm so glad, so so glad to have you guys with me. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, um, comment and subscribe as well, and I would love to hear and read from you. Have a good one, bye bye.